as you can see, uh, it'll go immediately from the regular boot screen to Fluxbox. So you don't have to worry about the memory for an interactive shell being taken up. I also deleted the wallpaper. Didn't like it. Um, Fluxbox might complain. That's okay. I'll just uh, use the mouse, because mouse is emulated, if you recall, to click OK. The Option button up here next to the Power button is what you use to toggle between using the arrow keys for mouse and using the arrow keys for arrow keys. So click OK and we'll let Fluxbox load. And I've been pretty surprised lately with how powerful, really, the zip it is. It's got a 300 megahertz arm in there and you can do a lot of good stuff with that. So the Stop button up by your arrow keys here is your right click so right click on the desktop go up to games adventure and then scum vm you can install this with apt-get install scum vm and uh, you can also edit the dot scum vmrc file and add a line called set scale equals 1x and as you can see, it sets the image to 320 by 200, which is perfect. And I've copied from my original Salmon Max Hit the Road DOS CD the contents into a file and added them into ScumVM using the GUI. No need to hand edit command line files uh, for that anymore. Mouse works. Uh, audio works. Cutscenes work. There you go. You never gave me a there we are. We're playing Sam and Max Hit the Road on our Zip It. Wherever we want to go. Pretty impressive, right? 